Super Late Models need you to the backside of staging. Ultimate Supers need you to the backside of the staging lane. Street Stock Drivers, make those final adjustments. You will be out third tonight. Street Stock Drivers, you will be qualifying third group on the track tonight. So make sure you get ready for that. Looks like the 37 machine of Lee Pearson also needing a push in turn four. Caution flag has not been the heat race that Pate wanted. Started as the pole driver, now brings out our second caution of this heat race. Not what the driver at alignment South Carolina was hoping for. Ultimate Super Late Models, we need you in the staging lane. Ultimate Supers, we need you in the staging lane. Qualifying, coming up next for the Super Late Models. Street Stock Drivers, you will be up after the Supers. So Street Stock Drivers, those cars need to be ready to roll. All that needs to happen is you need to be ready to jump in and head towards the staging lane momentarily. Midi Street Stocks, you will be rolling out third in our lineup here tonight. If you're watching on pitrow.tv, we do have a replay. Roger Pate in the 51. Oh, side contact with Nick Milstead. Not sure what caused that. And I believe Shane McDaniel may just have avoided contact with the front nose. Either way, Pate to the outside wall. Looks like Pate's car is still sitting in turn number three. May have to get a, a tow, a push, something going on with that race car. Race fans, we are glad to have you here. I know it's a holiday weekend. A lot of people do have plans today, tomorrow. We are glad to have you nonetheless right here at Cherokee Speedway. Make sure you head to the T-shirt shack. Maybe the Easter Bunny drops off a, uh, a new Cherokee Speedway shirt or a hoodie. Palmetto Twist has a, a fresh stock of hats and shirts. And it's awesome hoodies down there as well. New design. The logo on the front, keeping it simple. And then on the back, the place your mama warns you about. So make sure you check those out. Pick you one up at the T-Shirt Shack. Folks, if you have someone that couldn't make it, and, and you know, we want you to go to pitrow.tv and roll with us all night, but there will be a free preview on the Cherokee Speedway Facebook page coming up here in just a moment. Field getting the one to go. Single file. We mentioned it. We try to do true double file, but 
couple of restarts here. We went double file and not working out, so we will go single file here. Christian Patterson, your leader, Cade Langley, sits in second. The 10 machine, Joseph Richardson. I believe this is his first start with us in 2024. He rides in that third spot. 27 machine, Luke Edison out of Dallas, North Carolina, rides in fourth. Nick Milstead in fifth. We are having the live preview from pitrow.tv on our Facebook page. Is now the Mad Designs. Green flag drops in the air. You see the grooves in the racetrack. Shane McDaniel trying to get that nose to stick. Now Richardson a little bit slower in that 10 machine. Edison continues to make some passes further inside of the top five. Oh, turn four, Hamrick gonna go back around in the red number seven. That will bring out our third service center of Gaffney caution. Flag second on Hamrick in this heat race. It's been a rough start for Hamrick here in this heat. Looks like he will pull off of the racing surface. We will reset things here momentarily. Field looks like they will already be looking for the green flag once more. This time off of turn number four, the green flag sponsored by Mad Designs. Field going to roll through turns three and four to the Ivy Septic Service restart zone. Patterson going to continue to hold the pace. Green flag sponsored by Mad Designs in the air. One car gets out of line, the 27 of Edison. Trying to make a move to the inside of Richardson. Oh, heavy contact in turn one. Everyone able to keep it straight for the moment. Nick Milstead said he's going to thread the needle. He'll try to take advantage. Some big contact on the other end of the racetrack. Now battle for the lead, trying to heat up here. Christian Patterson remains your leader at a Fort Mill, South Carolina. Cade Langley from next door in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Some neighbors. Potentially banging fenders here in just a minute, battling for that top spot. Looks like the white flag may drop this time by. Nope, two to go, two to go this time. Oh, turn four, Nick Milstead gonna go around. 360 in the Neon 28 machine. Neon Nick gonna bring out the service center of Gaffney Caution flag. Boy, it has been a tough start for these Decker Home Improvement Renegade Sportsman drivers. That racetrack has been treacherous here early this evening. Nick Milstead, a 360 spinning to bring out the service center of Gaffney Caution Flag. Looking at the replay, it looks like Milstead just stepped on a little too hard in turn number four. Going to loop it around. Probably couldn't get that car back refired. But what a battle we have had for the lead so far. Looking at a replay here, too. Up front, I know we have the replay of Milstead spinning, but the battle up front has been heating up between Christian Patterson and Cade Langley. Do we have anybody? Who thinks Christian Patterson's going to win this heat race? We have anybody think that Cade Langley can pull it off? Langley, he knows how to get it done. Here they come, looking for the Mad Designs green flag. Should be two to go. This time by here, they dart down the front stretch into turn number one. Oh, turn one, the 10 machine's gonna back it into the outside guardrail. Joseph Richardson gonna loop it around the service center of Gaffney Caution Flag at a drop once again. Richardson rode that high lane and ended up biting him back. Backs it in just slightly to that outside guardrail. Don't think any damage gonna happen right there, but nonetheless, the service center of Gaffney Caution gonna fly once more. Ultimate Super Late Models, you've had plenty of time. We need you in the staging lane. Ultimate Supers, you'll be coming up for qualifying here up next. We do have, I do believe, a second group of Renegade Sportsman drivers, so stay tuned for that. As we'll be looking for the Mad Designs green flag in the Ivy Septic Service restart zone. This time, Patterson going to mash the gas down the front stretch, trying to hang on. Two to go. Mason Pugh further back trying to make some moves in that neon orange 22 machine, but here's the battle for the lead. Patterson going to float up the hill. Langley tried to inch a little bit closer. White flag in the air this time by. They're going to rock it into turn number one. Patterson's been able to lead the way thus far. Oh, outside wall, turn two. McDaniel into the wall. 
Battle's going to focus. Looks like we may stay green here. No. Hold on. Caution and checkered going to fly. Christian Patterson going to win heat race number one for the Decker Home Improvement Renegade Sportsman. Believe some contact between Mason Pugh and Shane McDaniel sends that 37 machine into the outside wall. Sparks flying as he pancaked that wall. Not sure the extent of the damage on McDaniel's number 37 machine, but nonetheless, he is stalled in the outside wall of turn number two. Track official Ben Messer going to walk over there, check on him, make sure he is A-OK. -okay. If you're watching on pitroad.tv, you see McDaniel still sits in that race car. And, folks, if you're watching on the Facebook page, the free preview from pitrow.tv will go through super late model qualifying. So, so, yeah, I mean, we got to know who you're cheering for here if you're watching. Which one of these super late model drivers do you want to see set down that quick time here tonight in your other divisions? Who do you want to see go to victory lane? You see McDaniel roll off of the racetrack. Looking at heat race number two of the lineup, how about this name? Haven't heard him in a while. Earl Petty at the racetrack at a Union, South Carolina, in the number five machine. Daniel Massey going to be on the outside of row number one at a Gaffney, South Carolina in the 54. Luke Edison at a Dallas, North Carolina. I believe that may be a, a, a double print here. We will check that. But Edison also listed in this uh, heat race in the 27 machine. Bryson Sweat in the S1 at a Lancaster, South Carolina. Bradley Whitesides at a Duncan in the N2. The wall banger, Jesse Wall on the outside of row number three in the two car. Brandon Kennard, last week's winner. He's got to work. Watch that white seven car, folks. Last week's winner, that car is fast. He's got a lot of traffic to get through as we'll be looking for the Mad Designs green flag this time off of turn number four. Six slaps the distance. Here we go. Green flag back out at Cherokee Speedway. Four wide in turn number one. Oh, they're all sandwiching together. Who's going to make it? White sides through the middle. Jesse Wall, he passed two or three cars on the outside. They're going to fly into turns three and four. Daniel Massey trying to hang tight. Sweat up there. Oh, White sides gets way up the hill in turn four. These cars all over the racetrack. Here comes the wall banger in the purple number two. Jesse Wall picks him off for the third spot. Defending track champion Jesse Wall came to play here tonight. He has already moved up two to three spots here on the opening lap. Up front right now, it remains the number five machine, Earl Petty. It's been a while since we've seen Petty at the racetrack. He is starting off on the hot foot here. Daniel Massey with a solid second place run for the moment, but he's got Jesse Wall trying to hot foot it around him. Good battle could be brewing for that fourth position as well. Oh, Kennard loses the nose in turn four. It's going to drip back. Another car nearly loses it in turn four as well. Turn four has been a rough spot for these drivers here this evening. Popsicle sticks in the air two more times around for heat race. Number two, Earl Petty continues to guide the way around this 3 8 red clay oval here in Gaffney, South Carolina. Daniel Massey looks comfortable in that second spot. Good friends with Jesse Wall. Don't think we'll see Wall get aggressive there for that spot here in the heat race, but Jesse Wall continues to stay right there in striking distance. If a mistake were to be made, top five have broken away from this pack as now. The white flag in the air to Petty that time by. Final time off a of turn number two. A couple of cars jockeying four positions for the third spot. Bryson Sweat looked to try to peek the nose there. Here comes the racing Richard checkered flag. Earl Petty off a of turn number four. Petty heat race two winner for the Decker Home Improvement Renegade Sportsman. Checkered flag will fall. How about that for a front row? Christian Patterson, Earl Petty, both getting it done here at the place your mama warned you about. Coming up next, Ultimate Super Late Model qualifying. Ultimate Supers, you should be in the staging lane. Super Late Models, you should be sitting in the staging lane. At this time, race fans, as we gear up for Ultimate Super Late Model Qualifying, going to hand it over to the voice of the Ultimate Super Late Model Series, Mr. Tommy Tedder. I 
All right. Ultimate Supers got 25 scheduled to take the flag tonight for the Ultimate Supers. Okay, we're going to send them out three at a time. They'll get two laps, two laps. Fastest lap will be their lap of record. Two laps for all the ultimate supers tonight. Again, we're glad you're here when, with the ultimate supers. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors here with the ultimate supers. That includes our friends at Pit Road, Pit Road TV. Sorry, I'm trying to get enough light up here to see. Who's your racing tires? Pit Road TV, Arizona Sports Shirts, Thomas Clark Performance, DirtEarnDirt.com, Rookie of the Year, title sponsor, and along with Cruise of the Champions. Big A's Custom Graphics. By the way, Big A, Still ain't got the motor back. He'll be in, out with us next time, I hope. VP Racing Fuels. All right. First car on the speedway should be Trent Ivey. Trent Ivey out of Union, South Carolina. His rocket chassis, Clements Power. He's in the G4 tonight. Badger Rental Services. Also on the speedway should be Carson Brown. Carson Brown in the 28 car out in New London, North Carolina, Longhorn Chassis, Vic Hill Power, Greg Clark in the 39 out of Stanley, North Carolina. Trent Ivy quickest so far at a 15.508, 15.508. Next car on the speedway should be Clay Knight. Clay Knight out of North Augusta, Georgia, the Longhorn Chassis, Clemens Power, Barron's Performance, Augusta Aquatics, m &W Transport. Also on the speedway, Stephen All in the V8, out of Lincoln, North Carolina, the Pro Power, Schwartz Chassis, RE Suspension, TDI, and Intense Graphics, and Ricky Green, whoops, excuse me, Ricky Green did make repairs out of Newton, North Carolina, Longhorn by WP, Vic Hill Power, Randy Pine, Strump, and Dawson Lartz, Profab, and Wesley Page Racing Shots. Steve Banal at a 16.094. Carson Brown at a 16.342. Ricky Green, 16-148. Great partner out of Rutherford, North Carolina, in the 18P car, the Longhorn Chassis, Clements Power, Parton Lumber, Parton Forest Products, Renegade Fuel, Rollins Plumbing. Also on the speedway, the 70 of Jeff Smith out of Dallas, North Carolina, the Longhorn by WP, Clements Power, D1 Enterprises, Horns Towing, Miss D's Auto Service Superior Pools of South Carolina and Smoky Mountain Boys Barbecue. Caution on the speedway. Looks like the 16 of Ben Watkins. Trouble there at turn four. Problem on the 16. Maybe something on the front end. Not sure. Got one of the push carts behind them. They'll check with them.
Apparently the kill switch got hit. Got it refired for Ben Watkins. We owe them all two. Going to let Watkins go ahead and bring us to green out of Rock Hill, South Carolina. The Longhorn by WP, Clements Power. Parks, heating, cooling, plumbing. On the front, uh, Ben Watkins Machine, WP Racing Shocks, Mega Plumbing, Sandwood Company, and Langley Collision. And it looks like it hit it again. So got a little electrical gremlin on the 16 tonight. Very unusual for Ben Watkins. Street stock, street stock, need you in staging. Street stock, go ahead and make your way behind, to staging behind the ultimate supers. Your qualifying is next. Again, trouble on the 16 car. So again, ladies and gentlemen, this is our 200th race all time for the ultimate super series. The Big Chief 40 here at Cherokee Speedway. Next week we'll be down in Lakeview Motor Speedway in Nichols, South Carolina. If you're down towards the beach, that's a good place to go. It's just, just a few minutes from Myrtle Beach if you're in that area. A few minutes being under an hour, that's not a bad ride at all. Then April 20th, we're up at Ultimate Motorsports and RV Park there in Elkin, North Carolina. Okay, Ben's got her refired again. Hopefully it'll stay that way. Want we'll to try it again? Ben Watkins will bring us to green. The Rock Hills, South Carolina driver. Well, he has made it through turn four this time. Hang on, Ben. Right up against the outside wall. They've overdrove it just a touch. Ben Watkins third. Jeff Smith to second. Ricky Green in the seventh position. Watkins to second on the grid, 15-5-1-0. Jeff Smith, third quick, 15-7-84. And Gray Parton, he rolls to third on the grid at a 15-7-37, 15-7-37. So they're still chasing Ivy at a 15-5-0-8, followed by Watkins at a 15-6-1-0. Gray Parton, 15737. Jeff Smith, fourth quick overall. Next car on the speedway, the 99 of Travis Stoner out of Somerton, South Carolina, the Barry Wright chassis, Newton Performance. SNS Event Planning, Smith Motors, and Barron Tire Service. Also on the speedway will be the 03 of David Yandel out of Monroe, North Carolina. The Longhorn chassis with a Yandel race engine. Tradition Auctions, Coleman Industrial Services, and South Shop, H&A Electric. And last man out here in group one is the 28 of Carl Vaughn. Carl Vaughn in the 28 car out of Chesapeake, Virginia. Excuse me, just two cars out this time.
stoner at a 16.774. Gandal, a couple ticks quicker at a 16.304. Had 13 in this group. Just did two that time and two this time. That way they're not out there by themselves. 28 car of Carl Vaughn getting ready to roll out of Chesapeake, Virginia. The Rocket XR1, 525 underneath the hood, industrial heavy equipment service and repair on the side of Carl Vaughn's number 28. And 57 of Zach Mitchell out of Innery, South Carolina. The Longhorn by Wells, Clements Power, Clary Hood, Socar Chemical, Charles West Grading, and Fox Shots for Zach Mitchell. Mitchell was quickest in the My Race Pass Fantasy Hot Laps. First laps in the book for Vaughn. Mitchell to the top of the grid. 15, 477. 15, 477 for Zach Mitchell. On second lap in the books, we'll scroll down and catch that in one second. Zach Mitchell, 15-2 flat, 15.2, 15.2 for Zach Mitchell. Moves Trent Ivey down to second, and he'll be followed by Ben Watkins, Gray Parton, Jeff Smith, Clay Knight, Steve Benall, Ricky Green, Carson Brown, David Yandel, Greg Clark, Travis Stoner, and Carl Vaughn. That will be your group A cars. We'll have the group B out in just a moment. So again, Zach Mitchell again is your quickest time so far. Going to clear Group A out of the spit infield, and then we're going to run them down and get Group B onto the track here in just a moment for their qualifying sessions. Again, Street Stock, Street Stock, you need to fall in behind Ultimate Supers there in the staging lane. Street Stocks, you are next in line. Street Stocks. Your qualifying sessions are next. This group will include John Henderson, Owen Osteen, Donovan Jackson, Will Harrington, Brent Robinson, Willie Milliken, Michael Leach, Rambo, Dennis Franklin, Benji Hicks, Roy Spray, Mark Green, and Christian Thomas. Again, for all the fans watching at home off of Pit Row TV, we appreciate you being there. And anytime you want to tune in to Ultimate Supers, Pit Row TV will be with us every single week. Next on the Speedway, John Henderson in the 2X out of North Augusta, South Carolina. He's in his very right icon, Clements Power, H&A Development, SRI, and Torco Racing Oils. Owen Osteen in the 20 car out of Woodruff, South Carolina, the Longhorn Chassis, 604 Power Plant. Lanford and Company and Rossi Oil. Also on the Speedway, the 93 car out of Hope Mills, North Carolina, that's Donovan Jackson in the Longhorn Chassis, Vic Hill Power. CNT Equipment Transport, Sanford Contractors and Cupio.
John Henderson quickest out of these first three at a 15-9-4-0. It's followed by Donovan Jackson, 16-1-47, and Owen Osteen, 16-5-32. Not bad for a 604. Will Harrington in the 14X, the Icon chassis from Barry Wrights. Clements Power, SRI, ASD Motorsports, Torco Racing Oils, and American Racing Wheels for Will Harrington. Brent Robinson in the three car in the Longhorn chassis, Clements Power, Steel Tech, Industrial Fabric, Cations, and BPS Automotive. Whoa, hang on, Willie. Willie Milliken in the one car, the Wild Child almost up against the outside wall on that first lap. Milliken up against the outside wall. Harrington moves to the top of the grid of 15-7-2-3. Believe Willie will go to the pits and see what we, they can find. Hope there's no damage to it. They're going to have to tighten it up a little bit though. Pushing pretty severe. severe. Well, loosen up, I guess. It's pushing, so they'll loosen it up. Next car out will be the 0-1 of Michael Leach out of Sunny River, Montana. That's right, Sunny River, Montana. He'll be followed by Rambo Dennis Franklin, the two car. That brand new chassis for Rambo. The XL chassis, Clements Power Plant. SCP Trucking, Turkey Towing, Hamricks of Gaffney, and Nichols Plumbing on the side of Rambo's machine. Benji Hicks in the 55 car out of Mount Airy, North Carolina, the double nickel race car, Coronet Power tonight. Colton Farms, TK Enterprises, Bobby Taylor Oil, and TBM Brakes. Benji Hicks moves to the top of Group B with a 15-676. 15-676. He's still followed by Will Harrington, John Henderson, Rambo. Quick lap of 15-863 in that brand new chassis, Michael Leach, and then Donovan Jackson. Should be last three, Royce Bray in the 11 car. Bray out of Colbert, Georgia, the Longhorn by Wells. Clements Power, Gus Simpson, Ralph Grizzle Trucking, Simpson's Trucking, Cantrell Forest Products. Mark Green in the 42 car out of Bessemer City, North Carolina, the Warrior Chassis with Clements Power. Max Baxter Roofing, Baxter and Son Roofing. Also, Christian Thomas, the 06 out of Wake Forest, North Carolina, the Rocket XR1 with Andy Durham Power. J.S. Sewell on the side, car owner, electric signs and lighting. Royce Bray, fifth quickest. Christian Thomas bumps himself up to third quick overall in the, uh, this session at a 15.746. So he'll be third overall in this group. Benji Hicks is a quick time in this group, 15.676. So that'll give overall fast time to Zach Mitchell in the 57 car out of Henry, South Carolina to 15.200. Jack, I guess it's your turn, sir. Let me get my stuff out the way. Bumper Jack here, he'll take over for the Mideast Street Stocks.
All right, we are getting set for the True Lion, Federal Credit Union, Mid-East Street Stock, Browns Roofing Qualifying Session. Browns Roofing out of Union, South Carolina, sponsor of all of our qualifying sessions, all of our Mid-East Racing Association divisions. Sheets 602 Modifieds. City Chevrolet 602 late models, Pro Fabrication 604 late models, Midi Super late models, and the True Lion Federal Credit Union Midi Street Stocks. Thank you to Browns Roofing for sponsoring this qualifying session coming up. Smoky Mountain Boys Barbecue Extreme 4 to staging, please. Smoky Mountain Boys Barbecue Extreme 4 to staging. All right, we are coming out for Browns Roof and Qualifying Midi Street Stocks. This will be our third race of 2024 season. Rod Tucker picking up race number one. A race number two went to Devin Morgan. Both of those races held at Fayetteville Motor Speedway in February for North Carolina Speed Weeks. Rod Tucker in attendance tonight looking to be the first repeat winner. First two cars out to qualify. It's going to be the high roller, Blake Bentley in the H Hardest Suspension Technology, number 18 out of Lyman, South Carolina. And in the Night Stalker out of Taylor, South Carolina, that's going to be John A. Westmoreland, Hardest and Suspension Technologies, number 78 out of Mooresboro, North Carolina. That's Blake the Snake Cryer. Blake Bentley in 18, a point one zero on lap number one. 18.834 for Westmoreland. At the line for Pryor, it's going to be an 18.537. So Blake Pryor, second to Blake Bentley. Blake Bentley going to pick it up on lap number two. It's an 18.062 for the high roller, Blake Bentley. Blake Pryor qualifies second. Johnny Westmoreland will be third. So Blake Bentley has set the bar for your remaining qualifiers for your True Lion Federal Credit Union Midi Street Stocks. So rolling out on the speedway next in the 83 at Belmont, North Carolina. That's going to be Caleb McLaughlin. And in the nine out of Chester, South Carolina, that's Ronnie Mosley. Making his way out on the speedway. Your third car, group number two. He picked up the first win of the season. That is Hot Rod Tucker out of Greenville, South Carolina. Green flag underway for group number two. Caleb McLaughlin, an 18.580 is good enough for third quick. Ronnie Mosley, an 18.848. Rod Tucker, second quick on lap number one. It's an 18.262 for Tucker. Caleb McLaughlin on lap number two. He will end up in the fourth position. Ronnie Mosley sixth and Rod Tucker will be second. An 18-262, lap number one was fastest for Tucker. Blake Bentley still sits atop of the board. It's an 18-062, the time to beat. Your next group of cars ready to take to the speedway. Out of Campobello, South Carolina, in the 81, it's going to be Justin Barber. The 40 out of Waynesboro, Georgia, that'll be Alex Sturkey. And in the Langley's Body Shop and Collision Center, number seven, out of Lancaster, South Carolina, that's going to be Josh Langley. Green flag underway for group number three and Browns roofing qualifying. Justin Barber, Alex Turkey, Josh Langley. Barber will go seventh quick on lap number one, 19077 for Barber. Sturkey, eighth quick. Josh Langley, lap number one, it'll be an 18745. That'll be good enough to crack the top five for Josh Langley. Barber now fifth quick on lap number two. It's 
So Justin Barber will end up in the fifth position. Right now, Blake Bentley, your pole sitter. Rod Tucker sits second. Blake Pryor, third. Caleb McLaughlin, fourth. Justin Barber rounding out your top five. So six cars left to qualify. Next out on the speedway in the Langley's Body Shop and Collision Center. Number 11 out of Rock Hill, South Carolina. That's going to be Cade Langley. Brandon Satterfield out of Spartanburg, South Carolina in the B4. And in the Browns Roof and Coltman Farms, number 17 out of Gaffney, South Carolina. That's going to be the wild child, Casey Towell. Green flag waves on a group number four. Oh, we're going to flirt with the wall over there in turn one and two. I believe that was the 17 of Casey Tao. Casey Tao running an ex the extra high line over there in one and two. It's Brandon Satterfield, 10th quick on lap number one. Casey Tao will go 10th quick. And Cade Langley cracks the top five on lap number two. It'll be an 18.529 for Cade Langley. Casey Tao picks it up on lap number two as well. Got a good clean lap in that time. An 18.530 for the wild child. Casey Tao puts him six quick. Next group of cars on the speedway in the 04, Browns Roofing 04 out of Union, South Carolina. That's going to be the Hurricane Austin Brown. Cameron Young out of Rock Hill, South Carolina in the 34. And rounding out the field here tonight for Browns Roofing qualifying to Paisley J Logistics Durham's Engine Service 06 out of Jonesville, North Carolina. That's going to be Andrew Durham. This will be your final three cars to qualify for your Truliant Federal Credit Union Mini Street Stocks. I'd like to thank all of our great marketing partners, Pro Fabrication, Headers, SRI. Go see Corey down there at the SRI trailer. Has everything, has the trailer stocked up, everything you need to keep you in the competition here tonight at Cherokee Speedway. Smoky Mountain Boys Barbecue Extreme 4, you need to be in staging. So Austin Brown goes third quick. It's an 18331 for Austin Brown. Tenth quick for Durham, 14th quick for Cameron Young. So that'll wrap it up for Brown's roofing qualifying here tonight at the place your mama warned you about. Main event, $1,500 to win. Coming up later, Blake Bentley, the high roller out of Lyman, South Carolina. He is your pole sitter, followed by Rod Tucker, Austin Brown, third, Blake Pryor, fourth, Caleb McLaughlin, fifth. Sixth through tenth will be Cade Langley, Casey Tao, Justin Barber, Andrew Durham, and Josh Langley. That concludes qualifying for your Truliant Federal Credit Union Street Stocks. We have Smoky Mountain Boys Barbecue Extreme Four Heat Races coming up next. We're going to turn it back over to the voice of Cherokee Speedway, William Richard. Thank you there, Bumper Jack. We get ready to go heat racing once again here at Cherokee Speedway. Thunder Bombers, we need you to the staging lane. Thunder Bombers, we need you to the staging lane. Extreme 4, you should be ready to roll. Extreme 4 front wheel drive, you should have already been ready to roll. Folks, we're still doing the live preview on our Facebook page, but hey, if you're watching, make sure you go to pitrow.tv. Join us all evening long. It'll be a fantastic night as the big Chief 40 comes up soon for the ultimate super late models. Also heard, you kiddos, I did hear a little rumor here. The Easter Bunny may be coming through here in just a little bit. We'll keep you updated on that. But we heard the Easter Bunny changed a couple of plans, may be in the house here in just a little while. Now looking at the lineup for heat race number one for the Smoking Mountain Boys Barbecue Extreme 4. It'll be Bryson Langford at Gaffney, South Carolina in the 4X. Langford, the youngster, big opportunity here to make a name for himself on the front row of heat race one. Chris Jeard out of Taylor, South Carolina, going to be in second, the 27 machine, the 11. KC Tau, we know he can get the job done. He's rolling off third, fourth place starter. Clayton Seeley in the Hot Wheels out of Cow Pins, South Carolina. Barry Bennett going to be in fifth. Reggie Twing in the number five machine, your sixth place starter. Chad Driscoll out in the seven, or excuse me, in the four XL machine, starting in seventh. And defending track champion Dale Bennett in the Bandit One machine out of Taylor, South Carolina. 
he will be your eighth place starter here on the field. Priority heating and air, Thunder Bombers. We need you in staging, Thunder Bomber. We need you in the staging lane. And we're here, and folks are watching on Facebook. If you want to see the Thunder Bomber heats on the free preview, make sure you get those comments going. Let us know down below in the comments on the Facebook Live preview. If you want to see the Thunder Bomber heat races, comment down below. Maybe we can do the Daniel Bryan, yes. Uh, maybe you could just say we want Thunder Bomber, but make sure you comment on the live feed if you want to see those Thunder Bomber Right. Listen, Tony's in the giving mood tonight. He said the Easter Bunny's coming. I'm willing to give out some treats too, but you got to earn it, folks. Make sure you comment down here on the live stream if you want to see those Thunder Bomber heat races. Also, I'm still waiting on Will Magala. Magala's Fence Company. I gave Magala a holler. He said we were going to come up here and have a chat. I'm Will. He's Will. We're going to have two wheels at the racetrack live. And uh, I haven't seen Will make it up here yet. I'm going to have to call him out on that if I don't see him. But Will Magala, I'm waiting on you, my friend. Make sure you give Will Magala a holler for your next fencing repair or job. One of our Victory Lane sponsors here for 2024. Now we get ready to go heat racing for the Smoking Mountain Boys Barbecue Extreme 4 front wheel drive. Smoking Mountain Boys Barbecue, they're pumping out the barbecue all night long. Award winning barbecue and chicken wings. Make sure you come grab you a bite. We get ready to go heat racing. We'll be looking for the Mad Designs green flag and the Ivy Septic Service start zone in turn number four. Here they come, the youngster Bryson Langford is your pole driver. Here they come. Oh, here comes Casey Towel already looking at the towels gonna clear for the lead before they even get to the stripe. Casey Towel was able to get the whole shot, the exact start he needed. Tower rules that as legal. Towel able to get that lead here on the original start. Bryson Langford now the youngster, some lessons being learned here in the opening lap. He's now going to ride in that second position. Couple of battles between the bandits. The one X, Barry Bennett, and then the, the bandit car behind him, Dale Bennett, defending track champion. Three car battle for that second position. Folks, we need some more people here on the Facebook live stream. If you want to see Thunder Bomber Heats, we got to have more than three or four comments. We got to bump it up here. If you want to see the priority heating and air Thunder Bombers go to battle to set their starting positions, make sure you comment down below. Bryson Langford got Bobbly over there in turn number two. Lost the rear end of that car, slowed down a couple of cars. Dale Bennett, he has worked his way to that second position, but Casey Towel is long gone. It's two to go that time by underneath the stripe. Dale Bennett, furthest car on your screen, now rides in second. Bryson Langford in that black 4X machine just trying to hang on. White flag into the air this time by Casey Towel. Going to float underneath the flag stand. Towel, he has won so many races the last couple of seasons and all sorts of different cars, Crown Vicks, Extreme 4. Now here he is in the Smoking Mountain Boys Barbecue, Extreme 4, front wheel drive, final time through turn number three. This will put an end as the racing Richard checkered flag flies. Heat race number one for the Extreme 4, Casey Towel going to be the winner. And folks, not much longer on the 50-50. Make sure you get those 50-50 tickets. I saw those ladies in here 
they were snatching them up. So the 50-50 is uh, planning to be a good one here tonight. So make sure you get those 50-50 tickets. You cannot win if you do not play. One ticket for a dollar, ten tickets for a five-dollar bill, sixty tickets for a twenty-dollar bill. Make sure you walk away with a water cash. Maybe you can come back next Saturday night right here. The USCS Sprint Cars right here in Gaffney, South Carolina. Nothing more exciting on dirt than sprint car racing. We're going to have them right here next Saturday at the place your mama warned you about. Looking at the starting lineup for heat race number two, Nelson Cunningham out of Gaffney, South Carolina. The 67 machine will be the pole driver. Muddy Justin Harris at a great court, South Carolina, in the one H&S chassis. Going to be starting on the outside. Austin Haskins, third place, starting the 853. The 95H, that's Dylan Hild at Aiken, South Carolina. Travis Langford, Langford in the front wheel flyer in the F1 machine at a Gaffney, South Carolina. He's starting off in fifth. Sixth, it'll be Chris Hield at a Gaffney, South Carolina, the 94H, and Jonathan Butler. Going to round out the field in the eight machine. Field is doubled up, heading down to the back stretch. Looks like Haskins now going to be on the front row. Maybe some changes up front. Not sure if Cunningham, he looks like he may have dropped to the rear here. We'll be looking for the Mad Designs. Green flag this time for the Ivy Septic Service start zone. Oh, contact between the top three in turn one. Haskins trying to hang on. Langford trying to look down low, but here comes Justin Harris to the outside. Harris going to grab the lead down and now in turn number three. Haskins now off the pace majorly. Harris going to be your leader. Langford going to be in second. The eight machine of Jonathan Butler now in the third spot. Lap number one going to be in the books there. Calamity here in turn one on lap number one. Justin Harris, your leader, but here comes Langford. Langford may have the fastest race car onto the racetrack. The front wheel flyer in honor to Mike Duval, presented by the service center of Gaffney on that race car. Langford all in the back pocket of Harris. Harris can feel him there. Great racing between these two. Here comes Langford down the, oh, the service center of Gaffney. Caution flag is going to fly. Turn two, we do have the car right there sitting to the outside. Thunder Bombers, you need to be in staging. Thunder Bombers, you need to be in the staging lane. Priority heating and air. Thunder Bombers, you need to be in the staging lane. Looks like we had a car try to turn to the outside there, so... Caution is going to fly, presented by the Service Center of Gaffney. What a battle there up front was about to get heating up. Justin Harris, he's been a, a multi-time winner around here in the Carolinas. Former track champion at Lawrence County Speedway in the H&S chassis number one. You're either going to race one or chase one. That is their saying. Justin Harris, he has been a, a, a familiar face in front-wheel drive racing for many, many years. And you're not going to meet a nicer guy in the pit area, folks. If you've never met Justin, go over there. Uh, you know, he, he tends to be a hugger, a, a high-fiver. He's that kind of guy. But Justin Harris... One of the great guys around here in racing. And Travis Langford, he's the same way. Right here from Gaffney, South Carolina. He's been racing for a long time. Langford, this has been a bad, fast piece so far this season. They're still looking to go to victory lane, but Langford has been enjoying that front wheel flyer. Beautiful looking race car, a lot of speed. Man, it has been great. Thunder Bombers, we need you in staging. Thunder Bombers, we need you in the staging lane. Need all Thunder Bomber cars to the staging lane. Pro 4 drivers, make those final adjustments. You'll be up for heat races after Thunder Bomber. Pro 4, you'll be up after Thunder Bomber. Folks, do want to thank our track staff around the racing facility up here in the concession stands, Candace Reed, Cheyenne Reed, Sonia Phillips, Avery Wall, some of the other folks helping out down there. We also got Miss Paul, uh, Miss Paulette and Mama Rambo down in the infield pit area. Miss Shane McGinnis over in turn number one. 
Joshua Self up here in the flag stand. Chad Butler, Ben Messer up in turn number two. Big Dave, Bruce Coyle, they're floating around. Chad Wilson, Clay and the gang, they're all hanging out in the infield pit area. Rodney Poston always holding it down. Miss Stephanie Poston, I'm sure she's around here too. Staying busy. I want to thank our wonderful track staff and many, many more names that I'm sure I have forgot to mention here. But we want to thank everybody for making it all possible each and every week right here. Obviously, Michael, I'm sure he's up here in the tower. Tony Adair, he continues to try to make this place better and better each and every week. As we'll be looking for the Mad Designs green flag this time off of turn number four. Harris Langford, one, two. Jonathan Butler rides third. Green flag back in the air. Down the back stretch, here comes Langford like a bullet into turn number three. Langford almost going to leave Harris standing still there in turn three, but Harris going to battle back down to the low side. Two to go this time by Popsicle Sticks. It's a three horse race up front. Where did Jonathan Butler come from? Butler. Little Kevin Harvick action, Mr. Where did he come from? Now Butler going to see if he can get that runner-up spot. Harris going to make that bumper wide into turn number three. Langford started to separate by a couple laps. Oh, Harris with a big run on corner entry. Harris going to float it up the hill. White flag into the air this time by Langford, starting to stretch his legs up front. Riding that high side. Oh, Butler and Harris, hard battle for that second spot. Here comes Butler down to the low side. Langford all by his lonesome up front. He'll come off a of turn number four. He'll see the racing Richard checkered flag. Langford, heat race two winner for the Smoking Mountain Boys Barbecue Extreme Four front wheel drive. Last call here on the Facebook page. You want to see Thunder Bomber? We need to know. Thunder Bomber Heat's supposed to be up next. You want to keep this live stream going? Make sure you keep commenting, folks, if you want to see the live preview from pitrow.tv. We hope you ride with us all night long at pitrow.tv. It's going to be a fantastic night of racing. The big Chief 40 with the ultimate super late models. Uh, we've also got the mini street stocks, a bunch of big names in the street stock brigade here this week. Thunder Bomber rolling off, Renegade Sports. It's going to be a fantastic night of racing. Extreme 4 as well. Is here they roll off heat race number one for the priority heating and air Thunder Bomber Division. Row number one, Justin Hamrick out of Shelby, North Carolina, and the 101. Landon Davis, that youngster, finds himself in a big spot here, rolling off in second out of Pauline, South Carolina. He's in that four machine. Zach Brown in the number eight car. 43 machine out of York, South Carolina, Jacob Thunderberg. He'll be rolling off in the fourth spot. Fifth place starter, Trevor Ballou out of Gaffney, South Carolina, the 17th. Bradley Weaver, he knows how to go to victory lane. He's got his work cut out for him. He'll roll off in sixth. And the Honey Bun Express, Hunter Funderburg, last week's winner at a Rock Hill, South Carolina, the 78 machine. He will start caboose on the field here. He'll have his uh, work cut out for him as we'll be looking for the Mad Designs green flag this time off of turn number four. Heat race one for the Priority Heating and Air Thunder Bombers. Little contact already in four, Zach Brown. Having to watch out for Trevor Ballou. Three wide, Brown down low. Thunderbird in the middle, Landon Davis up top. Someone's going to have to give. Two by two, they file in a turn number three. Hamrick right now, your leader, but here comes Thunderbird in that new wrapped 43. Hunter Thunderbird, younger brother, trying to needle his way through the field. You can see multiple lanes of racing. The racetrack has been fantastic here early. Chad Wilson and the crew doing an awesome job each and every. Oh, contact in turn three. Landon Davis and Jacob Funderburk. Funderburk going to get a bit of momentum after it. Landon Davis had to pop off that throttle. Fades back just a bit. Justin Hamrick, how about this run from the 101? Haven't seen Hamrick make a big splash yet in 2024, but here he is. Leading heat race number one for the priority. Heating and air Thunder Bombers right now has about a car length and a half lead, but here comes Thunderbird. New body, new wrap on that 43 car. We can't take our eyes off the battle for the lead. Thunderbird stays right in the back pocket of the 101 of Hamrick. Hamrick made the trip from Shelby, North Carolina, right up the road. Seeing if he can be a winner in Gaffney, South Carolina here tonight. They're going to fly to turn number one. It was two to go that time by battle for third, a hot one, two. Here comes Bradley Weaver below Landon Davis. Weaver in the two, Davis in the four. That battle, a good one as well. Battle for the lead on your screen. Here comes Funderburg. Hamrick bobbles. 
Jacob Funderburg to the lead. They'll see the white flag this time down the front stretch into turn one. Battles everywhere, hot battle for third. Bradley Weaver makes it around. Here comes Hunter Funderburg. Baby brother gonna try to move further inside of the top five as well. The race and Richard Checkered flag in the air. Jacob Funderburg, heat race one winner. Car around in turn four. Zach Brown gonna spin it as the field flies under the checkered flag. Jacob Funderburg, heat race one winner for the priority heating and air Thunder Bomber Division. Talk about things heating up. I mean, make, make sure you call priority heating and air because things are about to start heating up. You want to make sure that AC is pumping, but stuff is heating up onto the racetrack, folks. What great racing we have seen just in heat races. Pro 4, we need you in staging. Pro 4, we need you in the staging lane. Pro 4 drivers, we need you in the staging lane. Listen, Tony's up here giving it away. Pit Road TV, they said they're in the holiday spirit. If you want to see the Pro 4 heat races on the live preview, we're going to give you all the preliminary on the live preview. Comment down below. Other than that, hey, we're going to pull the plug. Comment down below. You want to see the free preview through our heat races for Pro 4, but you got to make a deal with us. you got to tune in to pitrow.tv. It's here we are, heat race number two for the Priority Heating and Air Thunder Bombers. Madison Hoots in one of those Integrity race cars at a try on North Carolina in the 41. Hannah Wall in the 43. She's on the outside. Brandon Green in the 32. Luke Doggett in the 97. Uh-oh, the Easter Bunny's here, folks. The Easter Bunny is here. Is now the green flag flies. Here comes Madison Hoots in a turn number one. Brandon Green, Hannah Wall beating him. Oh, Doggett going to go around in turn two. Folks, we did just announce that the Easter Bunny is here. All you kids, come get your picture taken with the Easter Bunny up here. On top of the grandstand area, we've got the Easter Bunny in the building here tonight. Come get your picture taken. Easter Bunny in the house with Calamity here on lap number one. Some beating and banging right there in turns one and two. Again, folks, want to watch the Pro 4 heat races. Make sure you comment down below in the live preview. We'll give you all the preliminary action, but you got to tune in for the features, pitrow.tv. Also heard half and half is over $300 right now to the winner. So continue to buy those half and half tickets. Final call for half and half. Get those tickets. You cannot win if you do not play. Field got the one to go that time. Integrity Race Cars by Eric Grant, one of our podcast sponsors. Madison Hoots, he's in one of those bad, fast Integrity Race Cars. So you're looking to get you one of these bodies, chassis built. Integrity Race Cars by Eric Grant. Find them on Facebook. They know how to build these rocket ships. And Hannah Wall, she has been fast here early in the season. Going to see what she can do here. Brandon Green, he's been very quiet, but very solid here in that 32 car. Is now through the Ivy Septic Service Restart Zone. Green flag sponsored by Mad Designs is back. Three wide in a turn, number one. Luke Doggett going to shoot the middle. Can he make the pass? Yes, he will. Two for one special. Luke Doggett moves into the second spot down to the back stretch. Luke Clements in the 51 machine. He's trying to make some moves, trying to get that fourth spot. That 51 car, brand new body and wrap on that machine as well. Clements looks underneath Miss Hannah Wall. Wall going to hold that spot for the time being in that pink 483 machine. Clements, kind of similar colors on these two rides. Some good looking race cars here early in the season. That's of course before all the carnage takes place throughout the 2024 racing season. Another lap in the books. Madison Hoots remains your leader. Luke Doggett's family ties between Hoots and Doggett. Doggett gonna see if he can chase him down, but a good battle for the third spot. Here comes Luke Clements. Clements down low in turn number three. Hannah Wall being able to hold her own here. In that wall racing 483 machine, they're still going to drag race down on the front stretch. Wall would have the position that time by. Oh, Clements muscled his way there. Wall had to slip up to the outside. Hannah Wall gets moved up the hill just a tad. Luke Clements going to get that third spot. 
popsicle sticks. Two to go that time right now. Madison Hoot's going to have to make a mistake if he doesn't end up landing on the front row. Pro 4 coming up next. Pro 4 heat races coming up next. Madison Hoots, he'll see the white flag this time by that integrity race car by Eric Grant has looked oh so smooth here this evening. One more time around for Madison Hoots. Folks, if you want to see the Pro 4 live preview, you got to comment down below. We're giving you all the preliminaries, but you've got to ride with us for all the features at pitrow.tv. On your screen, Madison Hoots, integrity race cars by Eric Grant. They're going to pick up a heat race victory at the place your mama warns about. Priority heating and air, Thunder Bomber heat race winner, Madison Hoots going to cross the stripe. Timmy Gun Construction Pro 4 coming up next. Easter Bunny. Hey, SRI is spreading the love with the Easter Bunny. I mean, right there. The Easter Bunny loves racing just like you race fans. Come get your picture taken. We see some people right now getting their picture taken with the Easter Bunny in the house. Got the candy bucket as well. How about this? I mean, you come to the place your mama warns about. You get to see the Easter Bunny. You got Tony over here giving out previews. I mean, you may not be watching the grandstand, but you need to tell your family and your friends to. All right, we've got the Easter egg hunt going on. Uh, I'm, we're trying to get Bruce Camp to do some Mud Angels for us here in just a little bit. I mean, it's just one hot night right here at Cherokee Speedway. The Easter Bunny in the building, getting the candy, get those little kids up there, get your picture taken. Appreciate all you race fans joining us. We know there's a lot of ways you can spend your money on a Saturday evening, and we feel honored that you choose to not only support grassroots racing, but support Cherokee Speedway. My apologies, folks. Hey, Super Late Model Heat Races, they're coming up. Eight. Clay Knight out of North Augusta, Georgia, will lead him to green here. Followed by Steve Banal on the outside. Ricky Green will line up inside row two. Carson Brown on the outside. Row three will be David Yandel and Greg Clark in row four. Travis Stoner and Carl Vaughn. Eight laps, eight laps. Taking six, I believe. Yeah, taking six out of each B main, and then there's two provisionals. Again, Clay Knight in the 42 to his outside, Steve Banal. Ricky Green in the 18. Carson Brown, the 28 car, the 03 of David Yandel, the 39 of Greg Clark, the 99 of Travis Stoner, and rounding out the field to be the 28 B of Carl Vaughn. Eight laps, top six will transfer to the A. Ladies and gentlemen, heat race time for the Ultimate Supers. Here we go. Clay Knight will lead them in the line. The 18 car of Ricky Green takes over the second spot. First lap going into the books. Got one throwing some smoke out. We got one around at the very rear of the field. Caution on the speedway. The 8B of Banal throwing some blue smoke out. Possibly, oh gosh, you can smell it. Smells like oil. I believe it was the 99 of Stoner that went around. Reset the lineup, Clay Knight, Ricky Green. Report of oil down the back stretch. We'll run them through it one time.
again got, I believe the 8B of Banal has pulled it off to the speedway. I believe he was the culprit with a little bit of oil coming out. Yep, they've got the hood pulled up onto the end side of the pit row. Check and see that much oil looks like it's probably a loose line or something. car was still under power so it was not like a ride through the bottom thank goodness Jamie Edwards thanks for watching appreciate it buddy holler next time you're up this way and Clay Knight your leader one lap first lap did count we got by the first three so it'll be one lap in the books going eight clay knight ricky green greg clark carson brown david yandel crew looked under the hood there believe yeah, steve has climbed out now he's climbing back in to the machine Trying to work in the oil on the back straightaway there. Make sure that we don't have a slick spot for these guys. That would not be good. Again, thank you for watching Pit Row TV. You are, if you're on Facebook, you're probably seeing the live shot right now. Just ask you to tune in. Switch over to the subscription and purchase this race. We have the monthly subscription available. You can pick up and watch the Ultimate Supers and anything else on the monthly with Pit Row TV. And I hope it's coming through as crystal clear at home as it is here. One of the best pictures I've ever seen from any of the streaming services. Pushing the Manal car across the speedway. Hopefully they can find it and make repairs and be back for the feature. Sounds like we're good to go. Leader out front, Clay Knight. Ricky Green and Greg Clark, row two. Coming off a of turn four, it is Clay Knight's race to start. Green flag back out, and he'll lead him into one. Takes kind of the middle, maybe the low side. Greg Clark going to work to the outside. Got a good head of steam going down the back straight away. Greg Clark into second. The 18 of Ricky Green trying to fight back on the inside, but Clark hangs on for the second spot. Clay Knight out front. See a lot of sparks from the brakes. Of Clay it into turn one. Hard on the binders. Greg Clark working the bottom a little bit lower than Clay Knight through three and four. Back to one. Three laps in the books. Clark up to higher again. Working down the back straight away. He looks to the inside as they get to three. Clay Knight will shut that door. Clay are trying to work the very bottom. Greg Clark continues to work a little higher up the speedway with a good bit of momentum down the back again. He's working higher through three and four now as well. See where they go. Knight on the bottom, Greg Clark up top. Greg Clark to the lead of heat race number one, B-Main one. 
Clay Knight fighting back on the inside, but give it lap number six to Greg Clark. Clark starting to open up a gap. He's got Clay Knight about six car lengths already. It's about six more back to Ricky Green. White flag out for Greg Clark. Works it through one and two. Down the back straightaway here at Cherokee Speedway. Through three and four. Stanley, North Carolina driver, Greg Clark will pick up B main number one. He's followed by Clay Knight, Ricky Green. Carson Brown finishes fourth. That will do it for the B-Main number one. Again, top six transfer. Greg Clark, the 39, the 42 of Clay Knight, the 18 of Ricky Green, all three of those. Line up for Ultimate Super Late Models, B feature two, Michael Leach out of Sun River, Montana. Will Start on the inside of row one. Roy Spray out of Hull, Georgia in the 11 car. Outside row one. Donovan Jackson out of Hope Mills, North Carolina in the 93 car will finish inside row two. Start inside row two. Outside him will be Brent Robinson out of Smithfield, Virginia in the three car. Mark Green in the 42 out of Bessemer City, North Carolina in the 42. Starts fifth in the inside row three. Outside, Owen Osteen in the 20 out of Woodruff, South Carolina. And the wild child, Willie Milliken, last year's champion, he had a tough go in qualifying up against the wall really twice. Uh, but hopefully he'll pick it up and go from here. Willie Milliken starts shotgun on the field in the one car. We'll get him out on the speedway here in just a moment. Again, ladies and gentlemen, please, if you're watching at home, Go to Pit Row TV, www.pitrowtv.tv, excuse me, www.pitrow.tv. You see it there on your screen? Grab a monthly subscription and you can watch everything Pit Row TV puts on. Great night here at Cherokee Speedway. Temperature just about perfect. And here we go, we're rolling out heat race number two. We're rolling by the front grandstand at least one time. Should just be once. Your front row again, Michael Leach out of Sunny River, Montana in the 01. Roy Spray in the 11 out of Culver, Georgia, Longhorn chassis. Row two will be Donovan Jackson in the 93. Jackson out of Hope Mills, North Carolina in the 93 Longhorn chassis. Brent Robinson in the three car Longhorn chassis with Clements Power. Mark Green, the 42 car. Bessemer City, North Carolina driver. Warrior chassis with Clements Power. Owen Osteen in the 20. Willie Milliken in the one car. That'll do it for B Rain number two. Ladies and gentlemen, B main number two coming up. Here we go. Leach will lead them down to turn one. Whoa, a little contact back there between the 42, the, let's see who else that was. First lap in the book for Michael Leach. He's followed by Roy Spray in the 11 car. Jackson in the 93, Robinson in the three, Mark Green the 42. Now Leeds jumping up to the very top side of the speedway through one and two. A little different than a lot of the other drivers in heat race number one, or B main number one, I should say. Lap three in the book for Michael Leach. Got about a four car length advantage down the back straightaway. 
Halfway down this time, it'll be Leach, followed by Bray, Jackson, Robinson in the three car. Then it's Mark Green, Willie Milliken, and Owen Osteen. Leach works it back through three and four, coming back to the line. Two to go this time by, two to go. Leach work at the very top of the speedway through one and two. Guess they're finding a little bit of bite up there at the very top of one and two, and at the very bottom, white flag in the air. Longhorn chassis performing flawlessly so far for the zero one of Michael Leach all the way from Montana, servicing the car out of the Longhorn shop. Checkers flag for Michael Lee. He's followed by Royce Gray. Donovan Jackson in the 93. It's Brent Robinson, Mark Green, Willie Milliken, and Owen Osteen. We'll have your main event lineup shortly. Congratulations to Michael Leach in the 0-1. We're going to hand them back over to Will here. A lot going on here tonight, Will, for sure. Yes, it has been exciting, folks. Pit Road TV, they're giving away the last two heat races of the night, Pro 4. Listen, Tony's giving you everything. Thunder, Bomber, Super Heat Races. I mean, Extreme 4, now Pro 4. One hot night here at Cherokee Speedway. So, folks, make sure you do go to pitrow.tv. Make sure you do subscribe. You can watch the rest of the racing action tonight. Come on, folks. All the ultimate races this season are going to be. Get that with that subscription. A lot of ultimate super late model racing here this year all season long. I'm, I, you know, I'm sure Pit Row TV will probably waltz its way back to Cherokee Speedway at some point this year and all your favorite tracks here in the southeast. So, Make sure you subscribe to that. And that's the last call, folks. We've been watching you all night long. We hope you ride with us for the remainder of the night. Go to pitrow.tv. Get that subscription. A couple more heat races. But I do have a good buddy up here. We gave Magala a holla. Now, Will Magala is in the building. Now, Will, I know you love racing. You get excited in here, too. But I do want to talk about what you do for a living. You do a lot of fencing. Tell people why they need to choose Magala's Fence Company. Well, I'm just a small business. Started on my own. Uh, Owner-operator. We build any and all types of fences, really. There ain't one we don't do, and we try to do every one right and make sure that the customer is satisfied first before anything else and just try to stay busy and make an honest living. And there you have it, folks. I mean, hey, even done some stuff at the racetrack. He says, now listen, some of these fences, though, you need to stay back off of. We want you to watch your safety here, but Magala's Fence Company does a little bit of everything. I mean, doesn't matter if it's wood, chain link, he will knock it out for you, and uh, they'll make sure they get the job done. And uh, I know he may be rooting for a couple of guys down there in the pits tonight, too. We, we, we can't disclose who those are, but we're glad to have you up here in the building tonight. Seabomb, Caleb McLaughlin leading heat race number one for the Timmy Gunn Construction Pro 4. Timmy Gunn probably hanging around the building. Get it done with Gunn. Timmy Gunn Construction, decking, roofing, and a whole bunch more.
good battle on your screen. The five machine of Chris Holmes and Barrett Bishop in the three car. We've seen Bishop go to victory lane here at Cherokee Speedway. Two more times around, folks. Pit Road TV. Make sure you get that subscription. Ride with us all night long. The Big Chief 40 coming up later tonight for the Ultimate Super Late Model Series. Turn four, we've got one around the five machine. Chris Holmes gonna bring out the service center of Gaffney caution flag. Slight contact with the inside wall. You get a good view right there of Holmes in that five machine. The green flag and the white flag going to be displayed at the same time. One lap dash for starters. And here comes Barrett Bishop down low. Bishop hangs right there by McLaughlin. He's going to feel free from the pressure down the back stretch. McLaughlin in the 88 machine. I believe that's an A.J. Barker racing machine. Off of turn number four, the racing Richard Checkered. Flag at a fly, Kayla McLaughlin. He raced one winner for the Timmy Gunn Construction Pro 4. All right, folks, final free preview heat race of the evening. Final pre free preview content, period. You got to go to pitrow.tv. Ride with us all night long. Clayton Ross in the 44 going to be your pole driver. James Harrelson to the outside. JoJo Madison, third place starting in the 50. Ethan Yunts in the 33. And Curtis Bishop in the 03 getting ready to take the Mad Designs green flag. Pitrow.tv, get the subscription. Ride with us not only all night long, but all season long here on Pit Row TV. A lot of ultimate super late model racing and much more action. Asphalt racing, dirt racing, and much more. Make sure you follow along with pit, pitrow.tv.
The Easter Bunny still hanging out, sponsored by SRI Performance. Going to see who goes to SRI Performance Victory Lane later tonight. We'll be looking for the Mad Designs Green Flag. Heat Race 2 for the Timmy Gun Construction Pro 4. JoJo Madison now on the front row in the 50 machine. They'll be coming off a turn for the Ivy Septic Zone restart zone. Here we go. Green flag back in the air. Good battle for the lead. The 11 machine, James Harrelson. Battling tough for the top spot. Oh, loses the nose off corner exit. JoJo Madison going to be your leader in a turn number one. Zero three. Bishop stays right there. Going to see if he can make this a three horse race for the top spot. Bishop with a run down the back stretch. Diving into turn number three. Madison continues to lead the way. Bishop going to dip the nose underneath Harrelson. Off a of turn four. Good battle for the second spot. Two to go with the stripe that time by Harrelson and Bishop. They were getting into it at turns one and two. So far, JoJo Madison still has not walked away. James Harrelson all of a sudden catching lightning in the bottle here. White flag in the air. Harrelson has picked up the pace here in the last couple of laps. Going to see if he can win. Heat race number two for the Timmy Gun Construction Pro 4. Folks, make sure you tune in. Final lap of free preview action at PeteRow.tv. Ride with us all night long. Get the subscription. Turns three and four. JoJo Madison makes the bumper wide. Harrelson peaks the nose. Can't quite get there. JoJo Madison heat race two winner for the Timmy Gun Construction Pro 4. Again, folks, pitrow.tv. Catch all the action live. The Big Chief 40 for the ultimate super late models coming up next. And then the Mini Street Stocks, Thunder Bombers, Renegade Sportsmen, and more. You do not want to miss it. Go to www.pitrow.tv. Get your subscription now. And, folks, again, be with us all night right here at Cherokee Speedway. This is your final chance. Get that subscription to ride with us all night long in all season here for 2024.